which are the best traffic methods that you can implement to get more sales and more traffic to your offers. In today's video, we're going to answer the question every single new affiliate marketer and business owner has asked themselves a million times. How can I bring more eyes to my content, my blog, and my affiliate offers? We are going to take a look at the best ways to get traffic, especially the last one, to increase significantly the amount of customers, leads, and buyers for your affiliate marketing business. Before we jump into today's video, if this is the first time you see me, welcome, my name is Nacho, and on this channel I post a lot of content about how to build a profitable online business, especially with affiliate marketing, and how to grow your influence with social media. Subscribe to this channel if you like this type of content, and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So if you are brand new to this channel, I'm really passionate about making a living from the internet. Like I said, I do affiliate marketing. And what I like about this business model is that you don't have to create your own product. You don't have to ship the product. You don't have to create an online store or nothing like that. Your only job when you're an affiliate for a brand or a company is to drive traffic to their products. And here's where many new people jump into affiliate marketing fail. So today's topic is one of the most important that we are going to cover on this series. Because if you don't get traffic, you don't make money. As simple as that. And learning this skill is a must for anyone starting an online business. You must bring as much attention as you can to your offers and your website and your sales funnel. And if you have the power to master in this skill, then business comes easy. You will know how to send a thousand people to your offers. And if you do that, someone is going to buy. So let's talk about the ways of traffic. There are mainly two ways of traffic. There's free traffic and there is paid traffic. And what I recommend is that if you're just starting out with affiliate marketing, you focus in just one of those. Of course, I would choose free traffic if I were a beginner, but there are people that want to focus on paid traffic. And that is fine if you have the experience to back up that decision. The people who choose paid traffic, they want to get results fast and they don't want to wait for Google or any other algorithm to bring them traffic. And that is not a bad choice, but it takes time to master paid traffic. You're not going to put $500 in on Google ads or Facebook ads and take 2000 out. It doesn't work that way. You have to invest time into learning that skill because if not, you will be burning money. And you have to have a game plan and the skill to turn that paid traffic into actual sales. But let's talk about free traffic first. We have layers on both ways of traffic. And the beauty of free traffic is that it doesn't cost us a dime. So let's talk first about SEO, meaning search engine optimization. And this is when you optimize your content, your blog post to show up on the search engine. The more optimized your content is, the higher it will rank and the more clicks your website will get. People that searches on Google for a specific thing, they have an intention of buying or learning about a product or service. That intention turns them into warm traffic. And that is the main difference with paid traffic. If you pay to be on the Facebook feed of someone, you're basically interrupting their actions with your ad or your product. They were expecting or searching for your product. Of course, you can convert Facebook paid traffic into sales, but you have to know how to target the correct audience. Or if someone visited your website and you are retargeting those people, then yes, there is at least interest. But with Google, there is intention. That is huge when it comes to SEO optimization. When someone looks up for something on Google, you will be there with all the information they need, bringing value, and there is a higher chance that the person becomes a customer of the brand you are promoting because they already know about the product or service they are looking for. You don't have to convince anyone. You are there to inform and help them decide if that product is good for them. That's it. So let's jump into an example of SEO optimization. And this is how I rank my blogs and the strategies that I use to optimize my content for the right keywords. First, of course, you have to choose a niche. It all depends on your niche. And if you have been following the series, you already know which are the most profitable niches for affiliate marketing and how you should choose the right niche for you. If you missed that video, you can find it on the top right of the screen. When you have your niche and your website nailed down, you have to do your keyword research. Let's say that I want to promote ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is a software that allows you to build sales funnels, landing pages, webinar funnels, one product e-commerce store, and more. In my opinion, it's an amazing platform, so let's get some ideas for our blog post. If you want to make money with affiliate marketing, you will need a website. And if you have been following along, you already have a website in place. And if you miss that video, I will leave a link on the description or you can click on the top right on the screen right 
now. Go there, watch that video, set up your affiliate marketing website, and you will be ready to make money with affiliate marketing. So I will show you a couple of tools and websites where you can get content ideas for your blog. First, we need to know what people are searching for when they are thinking about a product. We're going to take a look at two websites that will show us exactly that. The first one is a really popular one. It's answerthepublic.com. This is like a database of questions that people are searching for on Google. You can come here and type in, <clears throat> let's use ClickFunnels. And we use this word because it's the main keyword for our article. Answer Public has a free version where you can search, I believe, three times for different keywords. And then you have to pay if you want to search for more keywords. So it tells us that there are 46 questions related to this uh, keyword, click funnels. And if you have travel in this, you can click here on data and it will rearrange the whole thing so you don't have to break your neck doing this. So what do we have here? Are, are click funnels worth it? Are click funnels legit? Are click funnels safe? Can click funnels repla replace your website? Click funnels, how to delete the funnel? Okay. And so the public show us all these questions related to our keyword. And it's really amazing the amount of ideas you can get from one simple search. You can make an article or a video about, I don't know, where is my ClickFunnels affiliate link, create an entire blog post uh, using this question. And actually I created many of my blog posts of my website, taking ideas from answer the public. Let's take a look at my blog real quick. Okay, so here I have this 1v1 review post. Um, there are types of posts that you can create. Uh, for example, how to's, reviews, 1v1 comparisons, and more depending on the, on your keyword. In this case, I targeted ClickFunnels versus GetResponse. And if we take a look at Answer the Public and scroll down a little bit on the comparison section, we have ClickFunnels versus get response. I took my idea from here. And this data is super relevant because these are questions and queries that people are actually typing into Google. So there is intention behind that search. In this case, someone could be trying to decide uh, if they want to use get response or ClickFunnels as an email marketing software. ClickFunnels does have a tool with the 297 plan that allows you to send emails. Get response is a full email marketing software. So with my post, I give all the information anyone would need when they are deciding which software to use. And I'm not only targeting uh, one keyword. If I scroll down, you can see that I'm targeting several keywords, like <clears throat> what it's ClickFunnels used for. If I scroll down here and take a look at the question section, here it is, what is ClickFunnels used for? So I'm not only targeting one keyword, I also insert several smaller keywords all over my text. And if you start to rank for these smaller keywords, then you will also get traffic from the most competitive ones. And Answer the Public is a great place to get keyword ideas. And then another page similar to this is questiondb.io. This page gives you questions that are found on Reddit. It's not as good as Answer the Public, but it can work. Let's try ClickFunnels again. Oh, and it will show you just 11 questions. If you want to see more, you have to pay. You can click here to download the data. Like I said, you should build your contents around one main keyword and you can sprinkle long tail keywords all over the place. Like here I added ClickFunnels pricing. And if I go to answer the public, here, ClickFunnels pricing. Same with GetResponse. Here on my blog, I have GetResponse pricing. And here it is on answer the public. And there are many websites where you can get ideas for your articles. This is not a video dedicated to SEO and how to implement it correctly, but I can show you a couple of tools that I use in order to do my keyword research and to know which keywords should I use and the ones that I shouldn't use. So one great tool that I use for my articles is Ubersuggest. This tool has been developed by Neil Patel and his team. Uh, he's an SEO expert and he bought the site some time ago and he has been developing this tool for a really, really long time, trying to compete with other very expensive SEO tools. So Uber suggests you can use it for free, but it will not give you a ton of data. They have a paid plan. I think it's like $17 per month or something like that. Let's go here and type in ClickFunnels and it gives you search volume, this graph comparing mobile and desktop searches, keyword ideas and content ideas. Here on the left, you can go to keyword ideas 
In this case, it gives us more than 400 keyboard ideas. It's giving us suggestions, then related keywords, key, uh, questions, and more. And what I recommend is that you choose your main keyword, and then for other keywords, come here and try to use keywords with big search volume and with low SEO score. That is this number right here. If it's green, it shouldn't be a very competitive keyword. And always try to target long tail keywords like, is ClickFunnels good for affiliate marketing in 2020? Or something like that. Another great tool you can use is Ahrefs. This one is paid and it's a little bit expensive, but if you can invest into a keyword research tool, then I really recommend it. So this is how you get traffic from Google to your blog. Content around a keyword, do your research, do not try to rank just for one keyword, use multiple keywords on your content, so you, you will rank for more than just one. Create more than 50 articles and build up an authority website. And this is what I am doing. I create a ton of content around one topic and Google will like that because you build up authority and Google will recommend your website if you do this. So let's jump into another form of free traffic and that is social media traffic. It is absolutely free to post content on YouTube and you have to use the same technique. YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world, so if you post content relevant to your niche, YouTube will start to rank your videos higher the more you post. Same with TikTok. There are thousands of affiliates making a ton of money from TikTok. They post relevant content within their niche and they bring a ton of traffic to their offers. One product that is making a ton of money for a lot of affiliates is Legendary Marketer. There is even a contest between their affiliates where they post a ton of content to see who drives more traffic. I am an affiliate for Legendary and it's one of my core offers because I really believe that this is an entrance for anyone wanting to start an online business, not just for affiliate marketers. They have a 15-day challenge where they teach you step-by-step step every single skill you need to start your online business. This is really amazing. If you want to check it out, it's the first link on the description of this video. So it's free to post on social media. You can create TikTok, YouTube channel, Facebook group. These are amazing for affiliates. There are people making a ton of money as affiliates on Instagram, creating theme pages. They grow an account within a niche and they add their link to their bio and they drive traffic to that link with their post. Social media traffic nowadays is one of the most powerful ways of free traffic. The next way of free traffic is email. And I know that to do email marketing, you need an email marketing software. But if you have been following along this series, you know that in my previous video, I talked about ConvertKit. ConvertKit is one of the most powerful email marketing platforms on market and they have a free plan for anyone who wants to get their feet wet with email marketing. With the free plan you can have a thousand email subscribers on your list, you have the broadcast tool and you can create landing pages and more. And I really recommend ConvertKit if you want to start doing email marketing. Like I said with this tool, sending emails is absolutely free and you can combine social media traffic with email marketing and using both the strategies together you will definitely drive a ton of traffic to your blog, your business, and your content. And if you want to know how to do email marketing and collect emails, check out my previous video that you can find right here. So we covered the basics of free traffic. Now we have to talk about paid traffic. So let's enumerate the different ways of paid traffic real quick. Facebook and Instagram ads, Google and YouTube ads, Pinterest ads, Snapchat, Bing, display ads, solo ads. There's so many of them. I'm not going to show you every single one of these platforms because the reality is that if you master just one of them, you will be set for success. But you have to remember that knowing how to run paid traffic is a skill. You will get traffic, you will get customers and more eyes on your content and product, but the skill shows when you have to turn that traffic into actual sales. And even before that, you need the skill to target the right audience. Because like I mentioned before, we are interrupting when we are using paid advertising. You are chasing the customer, so if you have the skill of running paid advertising, you know how to target people that could become a warm lead. That is a skill and you have to invest into learning if you want to do it right. But even before thinking about running paid advertising, you have to offer a good product. There is no way to get a positive ROI, return on investment, if you have a product that is pure truth. So do your research and promote 
good quality products that you can stand behind because if not the sale is going to be much much difficult and you will waste thousands of dollars trying to sell a crappy product in my case i do not promote a single product that i do not use or that i do not believe that it will be useful for my audience period so if you're thinking about running paid ads these are the things you have to pay attention to first like i said is targeting you have to target the right people this is a skill that needs to be learned then content meaning the photo or video of your ad. Then the copy. You have to know how to sell through words. And this is so important. Apart from the content, the words of your ad are what is going to grab the attention and hook everyone in. And it also works to separate the buyers from the rest. All that comes from good copywriting. Then comes retargeting. And this comes also from experimenting. And from, for example, how to set up a Facebook pixel on your website. And you need all these things lined up or else you will be throwing money down the drain. Okay, so we covered the best ways to run free traffic and the basis of what you need if you want to run paid traffic. In future videos, I will go over every single one of them. It was the idea for this video, but it would take forever to do that. So I will create separate videos to go deep into every single one of them. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel. So if you missed a video from this series, I will leave links on the description to the playlist. And check out Legendary Marketer in case you want to know exactly how to start an online business in 15 days. Guys, I hope you got some value from this video. If you like this, please hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for being here. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.